Hello everyone, good day. This is Mom Neri, your personal development teacher, and welcome to our episode in personal development. And just like you, I am so excited to be your teacher in this stimulating topic as we explore module one, It Starts With Me. Are you ready now? If so, bring out your module, pen and paper. But just a few reminders, take at most care of the modules entrusted to you by your teachers and have the best benefit that you can get from. Study well and read with full understanding. Everyone can do certain things and cannot also do everything. There are individuals who can sing great but cannot dance well. Others can dance nor sing, but are good with painting and reading. In this module, you will know about yourself and how this is important in dealing with others better. This module also points out how you will have a clear vision about your authentic self and how you will learn to accept your strengths and as well as your limitations. In this module, you are expected to identify one's strengths and limitations, and number two, explain the importance of knowing one's self in dealing with other people. Okay, so, but before we go on with our discussion, it is important that we first define some words and concepts that you will encounter along the module. Okay, so we have first, ideal self. So, this, it is the self that you aspire to be. Second, actual self. When we speak of actual self, it means it is the one or it is the person that you actually see. Okay? And self-knowledge provides insight into how others react to you. Okay? And then we also have self-image. This means how others view us to who you are. Because these are actually important in knowing yourself better. And when we speak of personal effectiveness, it is um, making use of all the personal resources, talent, skills, energy, and time to enable you to achieve life. Okay, so now we'll have the pre-test. So what to do is to just answer true or false, okay? The direction says here that you're going to write true if the statement is truthful and write false if the statement is wrong. So please write your answer in the journal notebook. So you're just going to answer true or false. Okay. Number one, it is important to know oneself. True or false. And then number two, my limitations should be disregarded since they are your weaknesses. Number three, my physical looks do not exactly describe who am I. Okay, number four, the knowledge of yourself and how you manage yourself impacts directly on your personal effectiveness. And then number five, skills and knowledge are to be considered in my strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so for the learning activities, we have here the self-concept inventory. So what you're going to do here is you're going to take a look at your own self-concept and answer the following self-concept inventory in your journal. Give yourself a rate using the scale zero which means very weak one which is weak two somewhat weak three strong four four very strong copy the self-concept inventory in the journal notebook and answer it carefully okay so now here these are the self-concept indicators okay so what you're going to do here Sabi nga kanina ay um, bibigyan nyo ng rating ang sarili nyo. So, it is important that you need to know yourself better so that you can be able to assess yourself whether it's weak or strong. Okay? So, we have from 0 to 4. Um, that would be the, the rating scale that you would give to yourself. It depends on how you know yourself. Okay? So, number 1, it says here that I have a strong sex appeal. Okay, second indicator would be, I am proud of my physical figure. Number three, I am physically attractive and beautiful or handsome. 
Okay, number four, I exude with charm and poise. We also have number five, I am easy to get along with. Number six, I can adjust to different people and different situations. Number seven, I am approachable. Other people are at ease and comfortable with me. Number eight, I am lovable and easy to love. Number nine, I am a fast learner and can understand with one instruction. Number 10, I am intelligent. 11, I have special talents and abilities. Number 12, I can easily analyze situations and make right judgments. Number 13, I can be trusted in any transaction. Number 14, I have a clean conscience and carry no guilty feeling. Number 15, I have integrity and good reputation. Number 16, my friends and classmates can look up to me as a model worth emulating. Number 17, I can express my ideas without difficulty. Number 18, I talk in a persuasive manner that I can easily get people to accept what I say. Number 19, I can express my ideas in writing without difficulty. Number 20, I am a good listener. 21, I am emotionally stable and not easily rattled when faced with trouble. Number 22, I am logical and rational in my outlook and decisions. Number 23, I feel and act with confidence. And number 24, I am a mature person. Okay, so here, um, what you can see are the different um, indicators categorized into physical appeal, human relations, intelligence, character, communications, and maturity. So copy this table in your journal and you're going to write your score opposite each number and get the subtotal. So halimbawa dito sa physical appeal, ano ba yung ano, rating nyo sa number 1, 2, 3, and 4? And you're going to make a total of that and ilalagay nyo po dito sa subtotal. So yan po ang magiging procedure nyan. And from there, makikita nyo kung ano yung strength and weakness nyo. Okay? So yan. So ilalagay nyo lang po dito kung ilan yung sagot nyo kada indicators. Okay, so for the processing questions for our learning activity number one, which is self-concept inventory, you're going to answer the following questions in your journal. So these are your processing questions, which are very important so, the, so that the teacher will be able to um, understand more of you. Okay, so number one, what areas of the inventory are you strong? Those are with scores 14 to 16. What areas are you somewhat weak or very weak? Okay, for number two, what qualities that you consider are your weakness but other people consider as your strength? And then number three, is the result of the inventory realistic for your self-concept? Okay, so your awareness of yourself is considered as your self-concept. Now, in determining self-concept, there are two factors, your ideal self and your actual self. When we speak of your ideal self, it is the self that you aspire to be. It is the one that you hope will possess characteristics similar to that of a mentor or some other worldly figure. So, itong ideal self, ito yung um, self na gusto mong maging. Okay? When we speak naman of actual self, it is the one that you actually see. Okay? Ito yung nakikita mo sa sarili mo. It is the self that has characteristics that you were nurtured or in some cases born to have. Um, basically, yung, yung physical self that would include your actual self. And then your actual self is your self-image. So here you see the congruence and the incongruence of the ideal self and the actual self. So actually kasi nagkakaroon talaga ng discrepancy 
Kasi sometimes how we see ourselves is not actually seen by other people or it is not how we we exhibit it, it uh, in other people. So, nagkakaroon siya ng problema. And kapag nagkaroon ng problema, that is what we call the incongruence between the ideal self and the actual self. So, para maging happy, di ba, ang isang tao, dapat ang ideal self should be equivalent to the actual self. So, how you see yourself should also be equivalent to how other people see you or how how you behave or see yourself. Okay? So, sabi nga dito, alignment is important. If the way that I am or the actual self is aligned with the way that I want to be, which is the ideal self, then I will feel a sense of mental well-being or peace of mind. If the way that I am is not aligned with how I want to be, which is the incongruence or lack of alignment, that would result to mental distress or anxiety. So, it will lead to frustration kasi nga, hindi akma yung tingin mo sa sarili mo, di ba, that is your ideal self, doon sa mismong ikaw. So, for example, you want to be, um, you want to be a dense lister. Okay, that is your ideal self. You wish you could be um, listed as one of the, the the one of the great students or successful students in your class. Okay. But if you do not manifest um, the characteristics, the, the personality traits that a good leader or a good student possesses, then it will lead to incongruence because your actual self is not equivalent to how you see yourself. Okay, so meaning that the greater the level of incongruence between the ideal self and the real self, the greater the level of resulting distress. So that is why it's important to, that we have these personal development modules because its ultimate goal is to help students gain self-knowledge that will lead to higher alignment between these two personality domains. So ang goal ng personal development is that yung ating ideal self is equivalent to our actual self. So that this incongruence that will lead to anxiety, to frustration, will not happen. So now, after knowing about the self-concept, about ideal self and the actual self, now you need to answer these questions. Number one, what concepts have you learned in this module? And number two, what have you discovered about yourself in relation with this module? Especially referring to your self-concept because your self-concept is very much important. So you need to know um, if there is a discrepancy between your actual self and your ideal self. Okay, so what are the ways you can resolve it? So this is the, the, the questions that will help you dig more about yourself. So you need to answer these questions. These are processing questions. So now here we also have another activity entitled, It's Your Time to Shine. So what you're going to do is you're going to rehearse for your talent. Try to discover what you can do or what you are good at. And then, after rehearsing, set a time to present to your family or your friends. And then, you're going to give a grading sheet and have your performance graded. And then, record your performance through a video, if available, and enjoy your performance. Okay, so we go now to post-test. Okay, this is true or false once again. So you're going to write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is incorrect. You're again going to write your answers in your journal notebook. Okay, number one, to know myself is to accept my strengths and limitations. True or false. Number two, my limitations or weaknesses are hindrances to my self-knowledge. And then number three, the ideal self is equivalent to our actual self. True or false. 
Number four, the incongruence between the ideal and the real self causes mental distress true or false and then number five by knowing oneself we can deal with others better okay so for your assignment or for additional activities you're going to write an essay on your journal regarding how you know your actual self and then try to list your strengths and your weaknesses Okay, so by the way, this will be the rubrics for journal and assignment. Okay, so you will be graded according to the ideas you have shared to organization, according to understanding and mechanics. So, again, you will be rated 4, 3, 2, 1, whether you're 4, advanced, 3, proficient, 2, basic, and 1, 4, beginning. Okay, so that ends our lesson for personal development module one, quarter one, it starts with me. If you want to keep updated with the personal development modules, please subscribe and hit the bell button for you to get updated with all the relevant topics related to personal development. So please subscribe in my channel, um, like and share my videos, and thank you for watching.